Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated quickly. We will soon start the next session. Please be seated. Thank you. 请大家尽快入座,谢谢。女士们、先生们，在下一场的会议期间，请您不要拍照和摄影。谢谢您的合作。Ladies and gentlemen, for the next session, please do not take pictures, no videos. Thanks for your cooperation. Good morning, everybody. My name is Shinan Shin. I've been in the film industry for 33 years, and I've been friends with Zhou Xing for more than 10 years. I've met a lot of people in the film industry. I got to know Zhou Xun through her movies. I think she is a very talented actress, but she wasn't trained in the film academy. She started from a dancer. When I saw her, I felt really surprised. She, she seems to me a very innocent, very innocent, very innocent girl. I feel like we're chatting at home right now. When she was living in Hong Kong, I asked her to, to go shopping for me, and then I invited her to have dinner at my home. She, she told me that she was afraid because she never, she never went shopping in the supermarket. Um, and when I got to you, you talked to me about environmental protection. What, what motivated you to do environmental protection activities? I like to watch documentaries. And now that year, I watched a documentary and um, a truth that we cannot face. Inconvenient truth. I, in, in my childhood, I started watching a lot of films. And I like to dream. And I feel a lot of things are not true. When I watched the documentary, after I saw the documentary, and I feel, yes, real, it's real. We only have one Earth, and we're living in this world. And this Earth is changing, and we're facing many challenges, many disasters. 
this is very urgent. We have to protect the earth. And actually, we've been talking about environmental protection for many years, and I didn't really pay attention to it after I watched the documentary. So how did you actually implement the idea? You always say that you want to be a good actress. And in addition to that, how do you put yourself into this effort? Well, around me, I've always had really good-hearted friends and who are really wanted to put effort in these good causes. And at the time, we've been talking about it, talking about how to do environmental protection activities. I, I, my staff discussed with me what we should talk about in this kind of activities. And I have a lot of friends and a lot of senior seniors who have taught me, who will guide me in this direction. I know whoever put themselves into this effort are very kind-hearted, have good intentions. So when you do these activities, you must have encountered difficulties. How did you overcome the difficulties? When I first had discussion with magazines, I want to shoot pictures for the magazines. I want to put these topics in my interviews. So in a lot of interviews, I talked about environmental protection so that people who read the magazines, my fans, can know the idea of environmental protection. I know a lot of fans, um, a lot of my fans are children. As an artist, we face criticism and challenges in this industry, in the entertainment industry, we face a lot, a lot of vanity things. But this is only one part of our life. This is only part of this entertainment industry. In fact, in every industry, we have this part. But it is not the whole, is not the whole of this, of our work. A lot of my friends, my classmates, envy me because my family actually supported me to be an actress in the traditional in the traditional view being an actress is kind of a lower level job than other jobs it might lead you to a wrong direction a lot of people question if your parents support you to be an actress Some people saw you, saw the interview when you were really young, and you said, do you want to be an actress that, who is respected by other people? If that's why I support you to do, to, do, to do this kind of work. I didn't know how to start this walk, how to start this work in any way. And, and first in my thought, I wanted to concentrate in acting. And luckily, I have met many good directors who have supported me in a very good environment. So I have a really good environment to focus on acting. However, people change, people grow up, we see more things, we expand our vision. Once I remember one of my older friends told me that there's billions of people in China why is only you out of 10 people who are who is able to stand up and what can you do after talking with these kind of people i get to know i get to think about since i was a child i wanted to be a person who is respected by other people deep down in my heart I want to be rebellious. I want to be something better than other people. I imagine when I'm in my 40s, I want to be an actress who is respected by other people, other, other people surrounding me. And they talk to me. They give me advices. And they are actually role models for me. So slowly, I get to enrich the idea or enrich the concept of being respected. I want to do respected things. 
So thanks to your personal charm, you get to attract a lot of people who are respected. And you just say that a lot of your fans are children. And you also told me another, another thing. It is called Sunny Village. A Sunny Village is a project. Can you tell us more about this project? I think between peoples, there is, there is a relationship from which we can learn from each other. We learn from our parents. We learn from our friends. When I go to the sunny village, one of my friend, actor friend Shen Chang, he introduced me to the sunny village. These children living in the、uh, living in the village, who are children of those parents who are living in prison. The Sun of Village has been existing for more than twenty years. The village has children; those children have, who have parents in prison for many years, who have even like life sentence in prison. And actually, the person who's in charge of the Sun of Village. Worked in prison before, she witnessed the problems existing outside of outside the prison. That's why she started the project. One of the problem is that children, those children, are not orphans. They cannot be adopted. Due to some value.、Um, Due to some wrong value ideas in in China, a lot of people think these children are not good to be adopted or to be raised in other people's family. And I feel like we should not ignore these children. We should love these children and have them live in a better environment. So that's how I got started.、Um, I, I I felt I had a huge family and、uh, the.、Uh, I had a big house. I have a big garden, but this Sun Village is only 30 minutes drive away. It's a completely different world. You know, it's so close. It's just you just drive in one direction for 30 minutes, and you can come across people whose lives are so different. So I started thinking about what I could do for them.、Uh, can you talk about this village? Uh, because they need support from the outside, right? That's right.、Um, there, there are a few branches of Sun Village now.、Um, after 20 years,、um, a lot of people、uh, go and help them.、Uh, but these children keep being put into these kind of situations,、uh, and and then and they started uh, growing uh, organic uh, fruit. They have an orchard. They will sell the fruit, and that will supplement the、uh, income. So they are able to maintain themselves. But、um, this、um, Madam Chang, who runs this place, who was a former prison guard,、um, she will have to take care of them until they are adults. And there are more branches now in different provinces of China. And. So they need continued support. So if you if you identify with what she's saying, you can take part in this in this course.、Uh, there is a film now、uh, that's that's、uh, being screened. That's called One Day, and yes, that's that's right. There's this film.、Um, I I know、uh, um, a, a friend who is a driver.、Uh, he has a dyslexia. And he he can't read. He has trouble reading. But but if you give them the opportunity,、um, they can have a good job and they can perform in their job. Like like this this person was a very good driver, for example. So that's some that's something that stuck in my mind. Then I read about autism,、uh, children with autism documentaries. I realized autistic children. Um, there are some of them. They may be really focused on one thing. For example,、uh, 
sorting files, for example. If you find some a task that suits their conditions, they can do it really well. But this this film that's called um, One Day is uh, goes into um, is released on the 10th of September. There are nine stories, and they are children who need help in various ways. And, and these nine stories are put into a film. It, and this is the first public cause, good cause film. And all tickets are five yuan per person. And all the actors perform for free. The, the all the crew work for free. The theaters don't take a cut. The film, th the movie theaters don't take a cut. Unlike with ordinary films. And so, uh, not a lot of cinemas are screening uh, this film, but there are a few. Uh, because there are costs to the movie theater, you know, the, the ushers, the, the box office, etc. So the film is being screened. Uh, on the first day, it did quite well. Uh, yesterday, we saw a big drop in box office because after all, and it's, it faces competition from new films. But you can maybe go and, and, and hire, the whole, hire a whole auditorium, uh, uh, for example, to contribute. So we hope we will receive support from everyone so that it can stay in the movie theater for another day. Um, because everyone contributed uh, as a volunteer. Of course, we understand the situation uh, that the movie theaters and the um, distributors are in. So the film is called One Day. I put, I, I, uh, we, we all organized a concert called One Night as well. So it's a continued effort. And so this concert, for example, uh, there are also uh, charitable auctions at these concerts. Uh, wealthy people will have the uh, opportunity to contribute. And, at the, and there are ch children who were able to participate. And the tickets are cheap. So it's a really wonderful thing. And there's another layer, and, and they had a very good thought. So these nine stories were all filmed by new directors. So, and they used this opportunity to, to promote young directors who can produce um, stories through film. So if the, you have the opportunity, I, I encourage all of you uh, to go and take a look at this film called One Day children in nine different needs, uh, those who suffer from obesity or the left behind children whose parents go and work in the cities and leaving them behind. There are those who can't read, who, who, who cannot see, and, and children of prisoners. I can't remember which nine. Um, nine kinds of situations in which the children are in need. But when it comes to conservation, it's something um, uh, you have always worked on and, and helping children. What else do you think you want to do in terms of charity? Well, in this process, you know, we have published a cartoon book, a book of cartoon. Uh, a lot of uh, Chinese um, cartoonists from the mainland, Taiwan and Hong Kong, uh, they produce these cartoons, uh, uh, these comics, uh, and they publish these for the children. Uh, so we, our values are formed by what we read and look at as children. And there are a lot of uh, schools now uh, that are uh, chartering uh, movie theaters to watch this film one day. And there are schools uh, for the deaf children, uh, for for handicapped children who go and take their kids to see this film, so that they and 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 ordinary kids, healthy kids, will realize there are children who are of their age but are in a different situations and who need help, and that helps that helps these children recognize that. I think it's an important thing. 
they need to have this seed planted in them. So they are aware of conservation. They are aware of charity. Oh, congratulations on your marriage. That's right. Just got married. It's a new phase of life. How, how do you balance all these things in life? You know, you, you, you have to take care of this, that, career, all kinds of things. Then you have a man in your life to take care of, and you are involved in conservation, in charity, and your career. How do you balance these things? What do you think? Well, I think I'm really lucky. Um, my, my colleagues, my family, uh, my loved ones, my friends, they're all very supportive of all the causes I'm involved in. I, I don't need to pick and choose. I don't need to, I don't have to make a choice. So everything comes naturally and we will realize, you know, we, we can work together on these things. After all these years, we have been through a lot. Growing up, we will uh, face challenge. We will be faced with challenges. How do you deal with challenges? How do you deal um, with with uh, low uh, low um, lows in your life? Well, I, I come to you. What I come to you. I come to you for help. I, I'm really lucky that a lot of people can teach me how to be how to be optimistic. Because sometimes I can be pessimistic. So I'm really lucky uh, when I have upsets in my life. Um, you have been with me, and and others, other friends. So we we all have upsets in our lives. We just have to deal with them. You may not be able to change the situation in a month or two, but if you persist, if you keep trying, changes will come. And you train yourself. You, you have to get used to it. You have to train yourself. Uh, you are very successful in your career. You have got a family. Are there things that you really want to do that you haven't been able to do? You, you, you have the conditions to do that, right? You, you're in a position to do these things. I think in the future, I would like to um, connect, um, you know, make connections. After one day, there is one night, and we will do these concerts every year to help various communities, groups who need help. So one thing will lead to another will lead to another. So there's a there's a child called Shihara in one day. Um, he makes bread. He he bakes bread and, and he, so he can work. So there will be those who buy their bread and sell them online. So there are those who uh, want to be connected with them, and and that that makes you really fulfilled. So yeah, you have this um, capability, you have the resources to achieve these things to help more people. How have how have you felt about Davos? Um, I think when it comes to Davos, how how many years have you been coming? Uh, this is. Um, about four, four years, three, four years. Uh, this is the third time I, I've taken part uh, in a session. Personally, I have felt, um, well, I, I used to have a narrow vision. I, I have a simple life. I, I was just acting. Uh, once I got involved in Davos, I felt I have been exposed to more thoughts, more ideas, and I enjoy listening to people. Um, last winter, I went to Davos itself. I, I, I was just there to listen. I, I, I looked for events that had Chinese interpretation. Um, that's, that's what I needed to understand. Um, 
But so I, I, I went to sessions whether I could understand or not. Have you applied things that you have come across at Davos? Yes, there are those things. For example, new ideas. Uh, you know, we can enlighten each other. Uh, do you have an example? Something that changed your life, changed the way you do things. Uh, uh, things that you know inspired you to do something. Um, I, what I learned is that we can we can link various different industries, professor, professions. I used to be, you know, isolated in one profession, but if you can reach out, if you can connect different industries like technology, for example. Uh, when I was working uh, with uh, autism, I, I was helped by a friend uh, who was involved in outdoor advertising. Uh, it's very powerful. You know, they had big screens outdoors. They have small screens in the taxis. Imagine how many people see these things. They come from all walks of life. So, so they would give slots to us for us to promote our cause. So, it's like cooking. Use new methods, use new ingredients, and they would produce different flavors. Um, so, in a very short 30-minute period, we have seen the sincerity of uh, Zhou Xin, and she's really willing to learn. This is a very short session, right? I think we we run out of time. If you want to leave one more thing, just say one more thing to our very keen participants. Do you want to say one thing? Thank you for the time. Thank you for your time. Um, you are very powerful people. You are powerful enough to charter a th movie theater, right? Yes. I hope we get your support. I hope that in the future we will have the opportunities to work together. And and these people are in positions to help you promote your causes, right? Thank you all. Thank you.